The A350 Ultra Long Range is the longest range variant of the A350, and proves to have the longest range of any commercial aircraft. However, the upcoming Boeing 777-8 also boasts a long range, with the capability to fulfill many of the routes that the A350 is currently operating. In this video, we'll uncover the pros and cons of each aircraft model to understand which aircraft is more capable. The A350 ULR is an A350 variant that contains additional fuel tanks in the midsection of the jet to increase total range to about 9,700 nautical miles. This makes just about any possible route on Earth possible for the ULR. The 777X-8, on the other hand, has about 1,000 nautical miles less. This may not seem like much, but for some routes, it does make a difference, especially if a jet encounters a headwind or some other obstacle. This does raise an interesting question regarding capability, and will be the main focus of this video. That being, which specific routes can the ULR complete that the Dash 8 cannot? Before diving in, please do consider subscribing to my channel. I am posting twice weekly long form aviation videos and twice daily shorts. If you want to listen in to future videos and have enjoyed this video thus far, hitting the like button and subscribe button goes a long way. The most famous ULR route is Singapore Airlines Singapore to New York nonstop service. This route is technically within the capability of the Dash 8, but when taking a closer look, reality is a little more complicated. The route leaves the Dash 8 with about 400 miles to spare, which is not enough when considering variable factors like wind or payload. In order to actually make this route work, airlines would need to adopt a very low density layout and fly basically no cargo. Only with this unique operation would the aircraft manage to fly that length. Needless to say, Singapore Airlines or any other carrier wanting to service the route would probably not choose the Dash 8. The next highly publicized comparison between these aircraft was Project Sunrise. This was a competition between both Boeing and Airbus to offer Qantas an ultra-long widebody to fly routes from Australia non-stop to destinations like London and New York. While Qantas ultimately decided with the A350, they did label the 777X bid as competitive. Some speculate that the delay in the 777X program was a contributing factor, though Qantas disagrees. The A350 clearly has the needed edge in many key ultra-long routes. However, the Dash 8 does, in its normal configuration, have significantly more capacity than the A350. This may be helpful in some cases where a route is not quite as long, but has higher passenger numbers. A route that might be ideal for these circumstances that the Dash 300ER could not complete for range constraints would be something like Hong Kong to Miami. This route is just a little too long for a Dash 300ER and has more capacity than what the ULR could handle, and thus provides an opportunity for the Dash 8 to provide a unique value proposition. After combing through possible routes, I found very few that were similar to the aforementioned route. It seemed that generally the Dash 8 had very few possible routes that make strategic sense in a vacuum. This may be why the 777-8 has only received 43 firm orders thus far, with the larger and more capable Dash 9 receiving far more interest. It seems that when considering ultra-long routes, the A350 ULR is a stronger option. With more range and better efficiency, it can fulfill the few routes that need ultra-long range capabilities. The A350 ULR is a truly incredible airliner. The first airline to configure the jet, Singapore Airlines, did so with a low-density premium cabin featuring only 161 total seats. Surprisingly, no economy seats are incorporated. Singapore Airlines fits the cabin exclusively with premium economy and business seats. This does also help with efficiency and keeping the overall weight of the aircraft down. What's the longest flight you've ever taken? For me, it's only about 12 hours. Let me know your longest flight time in the comments. Also, I have a Discord server with fellow aviation enthusiasts, so if you're interested in discussing such topics, feel free to join with the link in the description. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video and will consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Also, if you're here in the first week after upload, hit the hype button as well. 
All your support is very much appreciated and allows more videos like this one to be published. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next.